Biden, this item on the agenda is an educational session. The tools master who will be teaching us today is a communication trainer at uh, Blue Mag Partners and an IELTS trainer, District 82 Humorous Speech Contest Champion in 2021, District 82 Evaluation Speech Contest Second Runner-Up 2023, and a stand-up comedian. Toastmaster Ravindu Amendra. Toastmaster Ravindu, over to you. Um, thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster of the day, for that generous, uh, long uh, introduction. I mean, that is how you say, right? You know, the Toastmaster gives your profile well. So I also thought of like, you know, telling the same things. Uh, thank you for the Toastmaster of the day. But anyway, uh, good evening, uh, UAE. And uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, and waiting for me a few uh, minutes as well. I should apologize for that one. I was actually in another meeting jumping for this one. Have said that table topics is one of the most celebrated and hated topic in the topic of Toastmasters, isn't it? And that is the one of the most hilarious topic, even in a humorous speech contest or whatever it is. It is like, you know, the common enemy of everyone. They will say like, you know, I got my first table topic. My life is like a table topic. Uh, um, that that scenario was like a table topic. The one of the most, it's like the word of the day when it's come to the toast. If you take like Toastmasters International as a whole meeting, table topic is like the word of the day. Uh, that is the level of uh, celebration and also sometimes frustration. It can lead due to the depression as well sometimes when you get into the table topic scenarios. Now, how to ace a table topic? Let's get into the business right away. Before that, let's see why we really need table topics and what is actually the skill that you are developing by becoming a table topic speaker. Now, yes, you have the, uh, prepared speeches, which shows like, you know, how much of discipline and also preparation that you have on a certain topic that you pick. That is a prepared speech, right? But when it's come to a table topic, this is a way to show that how fast you can think and how fast you can incorporate the techniques that you use, you learn as a Toastmaster in your Toastmasters learning. Because in table topics, you should have a proper opening, you should have a proper body and also you should have a clear conclusion that leaves your audience to think or else to move their hearts, isn't it? So, and also if you are good in humor, you can incorporate humor and your wordplay. So it's a mini speech, but the problem is uh, you have limited time to prepare, even less than 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Now here's the thing, my dear friends, even though it is we call table topics, now raise your hands, how many of you consider your Prepared speeches also like table topics. <laughs> and you proudly come and say, hey, you know what? Uh, this was not my best. I mean, I just prepared it for like, you know, last night. And some people come in the, like, you know, contest day also and say, uh, you know what? I couldn't prepare for my speech. So this will be like an extended version of a table, to uh, table topic. This is the problem. That is why I told you, this is one of the most celebrated and also overused topic in the topic of Toastmasters. So that when you cannot prepare, you come and tell, hey, my prepared speech was also like a table topic. Now I'll tell you why you should also consider your table topic also as a prepared speech and so much of effort that you need to put in order to ace your table topic, right? Now, what are the elements of a table topic? I, you know, let's go for the business. It should clearly have a proper opening. But how am I supposed to get a proper opening when I don't even know the topic? Right? 
and in when it is a contest scenario you are not given time to like even think i don't know some uh, in some districts as i know they give 30 seconds to think but uh, in, in in sri lanka in district 82 they don't give you time for that that is like you know that is real table topics uh and also the other thing uh, i'm sure you might have heard this one when it's come to the table topics that they say, hey, learning table topics can save your life. Then when you get late for your home, you can tell your wife a lie as a table topic. When you don't get ready for your presentation, you can tell a lie for your uh, boss. When you get caught uh, from the police uh, in traffic, you can give a table topic. Come on. In those scenarios, you don't remember table topic. Let's be honest. Let's like, you know, get to the job, like how to deliver a proper table topic in a contest scenario and also how you can use it out of Toastmasters in certain scenarios. Not every scenario is a table topic scenario. Please remember that. I need, I have to break your expectations. I'm not here to train you to tell, hey, let's use table topic everywhere. No. Because... Sometimes people identify you are not prepared and that can be a disadvantage for you. Remember, as much as Toastmasters skills are very important for you to build as a speaker and a presenter and even a leader, do not misuse it, those skills, to get away from the problems and also the scenarios that you have in life. So that is actually kind of an insult for Toastmasters. Right now, let's get to it. What kind of an opening can I give? The most popular way that you know you can tackle a table topic is is that you repeat the topic. For example, um, never give up. Never give up. Let's say like you know, for example, let's say uh, contestant number one and never give up. Never give up and. So the, one of the easiest ways to like, you know, buy, side, buy some time is to repeat it. Never give up. Well, never give up is actually a good topic to think about how not to never give up. You just now now think. Right? Here you are, what you are doing is you are not repeating the topic. Actually, you are getting, buying some time, few seconds in order to arrange. What I need to tell you, my dear friends, when you're doing a table topic, start with whatever the word that comes to, your, comes to your mouth. Then your brain will start to flow for you. Don't worry. With the practice that you have, you will get the words. I mean, in your flyer also, you said one of the most very famous uh, quotes from uh, Dale Carnegie. The art, it's actually a quote from uh, the art of public speaking that it says the human brain st uh, starts working from the time it's uh, they are born but it stops uh, when you are asked to uh, give a public speech i'll tell you your heart, your heart brain every uh, kidney everything stops when you are asked to do a table topic if it is a topic which is not familiar for you so it's not only uh, Everything. You just become paralyzed. Sometimes you might die. So, buy time. The second way is, as an advanced speaker that you can do is, you can actually reflect a question. For example, let's take the same exa uh, example. Never give up. Have you ever given up in your life? What would you do when you feel like giving up in the life? Why do you think that people should give, in, give, a, give up in life? So, you ask three different questions in three different dimensions. Have you ever given up in life? What would you do when you are to give, give up in, on your life? Why do you? It's like how, what, why? So that the, the audience will be like, okay, fine. He or she is going to tell me like, you know, something very profound. This is a like, you know, you can even use this in your prepared speeches as well. 
have you and then what would you do why or how same thing like you know say how would you face the life when you are at the point of giving up the life so that when you ask those three questions automatically you will get something now into your brain and also you make your audience to stop for you these types of questions we call my dear friends rhetoric questions which means you are not expecting an answer from the audience you are just making them think there are two types of questions right when it come to speeches communication there are two types of questions one are one is direct question for example i ask you hey what is your name and someone will tell that is their name right if not i ask like you know have you ever thought about your name now you start to think ah hey yes what is actually the real meaning of my name so that might be the first time you are thinking about the meaning of your name so you make the audience think so post a question right and another way is that you can directly disagree for whatever the topic that you get never give up in life miss the table topic master and my dear friends i think at at points of life we need to give up i don't agree you directly agree or disagree these are the three most effective ways that i can suggest you in terms of opening and getting that flow one behind the stage thing that you can do is actually whenever you hear the word whenever you hear the topic lot of people what they do is they are trying to remember word by word of that particular topic for example let me tell you a topic uh don't stop when you get it right do it until you can't get it wrong don't stop when you get it right do it until you can't it, you can't get it wrong now do you see how confusing sometimes this topic is like you know wrong stop you can't go word by word just pick some keywords okay what are the keywords right can't get wrong stop these are the three words i will hear and based on that one i will quickly ask myself a question ask yourself a question am i going to agree for this one or disagree for this one that's it ask yourself a question make your table topic a speech as if you are answering your own question my dear friends consider your table topic as a question so that it is easy to answer because in our life it most easiest thing that we can do is giving answers that's why like you know we love giving excuses right aren't we that's why i like, you know why i let ah, yeah that happened this happened ah i got with a client call um, why didn't you do this speech um i'm not well my grandmother is not well my father is not well and i mean i don't understand this project whatever we love giving answers aren't we so consider your table topic as a question question yourself am i going to agree for this one or is it that simple are we clear up to this point you can start by repeating the point you can ask questions or else the best way is the next possible thing is that are you going to agree or disagree question, question yourself either you disagree or agree are we clear up to this point anything that i can clarify for you if you are clear you can give a thumbs up um i mean uh, if it is a physical session i would have said like okay thank you thank you so much all right so now here is the next thing now what am i going to say in the body part very simple my dear friends the technique we call this prep technique 
prep technique that is point reason example point you tell your point you give a reason and then you give an example and then you complete the same point you give a reason for example let's take the same same example don't give up in life so let me start have you ever thought of giving up on your life what would you do when you are asked to give up on your life why do you think that we should never give up on your life mr contest master and my dear friends i believe giving up is not the only option because life has more challenges that is yet to be unveiled for us and at that point we should be ready to take any challenge for us that is we humans are that is our main quality as humans you give a clear reason now you need to give an example right you know you are not going to give an example like you know for example you are like you know you now your example this is where you can tell a personal story because stories make people connect facts cannot sell anything but stories can sell and it make the audience gel to you facts can't sell stories can sell and it makes audience gel remember that right so what you can say is i still remember the point during the covid when the whole world was shut down and my career was also at the brink of shutting down i thought of giving up but i asked a question should i give up here if i give up here this will be the end of my whole life so i decided to learn a new skill and also learn how to do sessions online and today i am the most famous online trainer or else online dancing teacher online yoga master in the world in my region just because i didn't give up now you establish the same point with a solid global example you generalize it so you would say sri lanka cricket team i mean i'm i'm talking about something else okay sri lanka cricket team lost the finals in 2007 9 11 but they never gave up in 2014 they won imagine if they had given up we wouldn't have the second world cup so my dear friends when you feel like given up just think it is easy to give up but it is difficult to continue and more difficult to complete what you start that's it and maybe you can tell the same point so i tell you next time when you feel like giving up just hold it this is where i am coming to the conclusion my dear friends you can actually give a good call to action call to action means you are telling your audience to do something right so that they feel like hey not only like you know i heard a nice speech now i also have something from this speech right another way that you know you can make your audience go wow during a table topic even in a prepared speech is that generalize the message right for example you can say for me it was learning skills online for you this can be different it can be your family life it can be your career it can be even your toast masters life just hold on because my story is not your story right but how can i make my story your story by asking a question by relating it to you 
for example like you know let's say like you know i talk about something uh, uh, one of my prepared speeches was like you know i how i went on a bus and on a jump seat so i was basically i'm i'm, I'm sure a lot of sri lankans are here like you know you have that experience of jump seat in ac buses <laughs> so i asked like you know what is your jump seat in your life are you stuck in the jump seat it can be your career it can be your relationship even it can be your business are you stuck and not knowing whether to stand up or sit down just leave it you can enjoy your journey so to summarize to summarize how do you open you can repeat the topic or else ask questions have you what why and then use the point reason example point to muscle up your body how do you muscle up your body tell the point give me a reason to the example give me a personal story and then finish it off with a bang by relating it to the audience by asking a really universal few questions same thing my dear friends you can as i told you okay okay now you like you know, what if like you know i don't disagree with you i mean can i buy a uh, five minutes uh, just to clarify that one or else i see the red card i'm sorry uh, it's okay choose master ravidu it's very interesting right, okay. you can continue <laughs> right um, so i'll take five minutes uh, for example there is a very famous topic called like you know um, don't judge the book by its cover have you ever heard that uh, famous quote so i am a person who always believe that we should judge, judge the book by its cover why do you think my dear friends it's like that do you think that you and i have time to read it, to read each and every book that we buy or see in the book stack do you think that we have time to like you know pick each and every book read it and then finish it and go to the cashier and tell me i like this book can i please buy this book sometimes in my my dear uh, my dear friends in life you will have to judge the book by its cover i still remember the time that when i first went to my interview in hsbc where i was very poor i had just had to wear a broken pair of shoes and a baggy shirt i was just rejected because i was not dressed well for me that was the point that i realized people judge the book by its cover and there is no harm on that one would you accept me if i just come without anything and just a, a wavy hair and like you know just a skinny and i am talking about you how to do grooming in life so my dear friends next time i will tell you it's okay to judge a book by its cover because we don't have time to read books but i have something interesting for you judge the book don't judge the book by, judge the book by its cover buy the book it's okay read it if it is not your book leave it because by reading itself you got a lesson so you can twist my dear friends my dear i mean i am a huge believer of like you know i judge book by its covers i mean sorry to say but i do that but i do that do you think like you know i i have my lifetime to like you know come sit talk no but the thing is by the time we get into know each other i might understand my decision was correct or not i'm telling this to a lot of university students and the people that i train make sure every time when you go out you are being judged you cannot tell people to don't judge the book by its cover how inhuman and cruel is to that to be well asked hey don't judge the book by its cover no no judge me that's okay so you can twist this my dear friend okay but now ravin do like you know how to think like that best way is read books because what comes out from your mouth is coming from here you need to nourish your brain in order to get something important and also valuable out of your mouth 
what do you think is what is coming out from your mouth read i mean i mean if you can see like you know i can show you there are hundreds of books that like you know is around me I mean, every, every time when i uh, put my hand out i can drag books because hey again they say like you know reading makes you full i would say like you know reading never makes you full as long as you try to incorporate what you learn how many readers do you know my dear friends read each and every book but when you speak to them like you know you feel like hey we need to write a book about this person like you know this person is not come on what did you learn out of this book i have friends of mine who read thousands of books and when you see their libraries that's so exotic but when you speak with them they are like ah okay so that's the thing but what i am telling you is like you know get yourself updated keep yourself updated read read good things listen to good things you never know uh, when it will be become handy another advanced example that i can tell you this is we call the little uh, i mean little red riding hood technique how many of you have uh, heard the little red riding hood uh, spe- uh, like you know the story that you know there was this little girl who was walking in the jungle and then going to see her grandmother and then um, the wolf jumps in and then she goes the wolf is there as the grandmother and then the here comes like you know brave strong um, hunter and then kills the wolf and take out the grandmother and they live happily ever after have you ever listened to that speech i mean anyway now i told you so you should do so <laughs> hey have have you ever thought what if the real villain is that hunter what if that you know the wolf was so hungry wanted to feed its cubs that's why it was following uh hi uh sorry that was a connection issue so uh anyway so the little red riding hood so what is the like you know the the grandmother has uh, one day killed the cubs i mean she can be the evil right so what i'm telling you is like you know have your own story maybe a prepared story and according to the topic you try to see the different aspects that how you can fit it into that st- uh, topic see that in a different way like you know see things in a different way so those are the things my dear friends um, that i need to tell as i told you now i can tell you like you know if i get a chance like you know talk about never give up uh that i can tell you once i was doing a session at uae i lost my connection but i never give up and i joined and i continued my session as well so if i cannot give up you can also not give up so thank you so much for your opportunity and uh, giving your time for me um it's um it's a great uh, pleasure for sharing my knowledge with you